Right, welcome back to the video. Starting this one off on the road today. Got to run into town and get a few parts. Uh, <laughs> living off grid, you got to keep your eyes open and uh, stay on top of things. Sometimes you forget things because you get caught up in uh, your daily grind. And I forgot to take the filter off of the outdoor shower and it froze. So I'm going to replace some of the PVC in the ball valve so you guys can go along with that. Plus, driving the uh, new addition to the homestead for the wood lot so stay tuned for that too i'm going to show you guys what's going on with this thing we bought the cheapest dump truck power stroke ford on craigslist the internet ha Dirt <laughs> So I'm gonna show you guys the new addition. We gotta come up with a name for, but right now we're gonna run into town and we're gonna get some of these parts here at the local hardware store. And finally the ball valve. Okay, let's get some PVC pipe and hit it. I love my local hardware store. It's always a pleasure to go in there. You get right in there, you get what you need. Not too many aisles, they're always stocked. And they're always so nice and helpful. All right, now we're gonna get home and I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new Woodlot truck. Should be pretty fun. This is the new Woodlot truck. Let's give it a look. So what we have for the wood lot here is a 6.0 liter, 2006 F350 Power Stroke with under 100,000 miles on it. I was scouring the internet looking for this thing, uh, Craigslist and a few other places. I stuck on Craigslist, I was checking out the Facebook place um, and I was just trying to find something for sure with an extended cab, four wheel drive, 350, and that dump bed, that's huge and important because once I get this wood lock going, I'll be delivering firewood around our place here locally. And to cut down on handling the firewood, I'll be loading it into the back here. And then when I go to the customer's house, I'll just dump it off and then they can stack it up, see? So it's less handling for me and then more advantageous to have a truck with a dump bed on the farm. Lots of uses we're going to get out of there. Mulch, rock, anything we want to do in the back of that truck. So that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's give us some more look around here. Now the one thing we're for sure digging is the towing capacity. This thing will be able to pull a trailer behind it because I'll be setting up that trailer. Remember that trailer we had earlier when we listed, lifted that 7,000 pound oak? I'll have a trailer like that so I can go get the logs and bring them back here to the sawmill. That's nice. So good towing capacity on the 350. Over um, all in all, it's in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. What we're gonna be doing here, in case you're new to our channel, we're gonna be cutting and stacking firewood for our personal use and for delivery to customers. And we'll be sawing our own logs on the property for projects right here at our own portable sawmill. So that is the woodlot truck. And you're thinking, now Doug, why do you need a woodlot truck? Why are you even having a woodlot? 
because I am showing you guys all the time how you can quit that nine to five job that you hate and that you can do a job or do a thing that you love to do. If you love being around animals, if you love having your feet in the dirt, if you love growing your own food, if you love being a little more independent, if you love being a little more sustainable, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, get all the notifications so you guys can follow us along. Remember we took you to the lavender farm. It was a stay at home mom looking for a little something to do. She ended up creating a lavender farm, has a great business. We took you to Alpacas of Troy, a young man who actually has alpacas. He shears them, sells the fiber, um, and that's how he makes a living, raising those alpacas. So we keep showing you all these kind of jobs that are you know, situated or are good um, with working with the homestead. Just like market gardening, if you guys come to the Homesteading Life Conference in August, because we are having our conference no matter what, Curtis Stone will be there. Curtis Stone talks to you guys about making six figures doing a market garden. So we keep trying to show you guys ways you guys can make money on the homestead so you can live the life that you want to and have fun doing it. So this wood lot is going to be a lot of good fun for me. I'm really, really excited about it, and I can't wait uh, to get into this a little more. Plus, I haven't even got, uh, <laughs> oh, I haven't even showed you guys the new hobby that I'm picking up. I haven't started yet. I'm gathering my little tools for it, but it's a really cool artisan, kind of crafty with your hands kind of thing. So I'm going to go down right now. Let's go down and check on Stacy and see what's going on with her. Because remember, uh, because of this stuff going around, she's not at work anymore either. She's uh, laid off now. They're saying until the end of April. And she's an independent contractor. So we're on our own. All right. So let's go down there. We'll see what's going on with the log cabin. Well, did you guys enjoy our new little homestead truck? It's pretty cool, huh? And I hope you guys come up with a good name for him or her. So I'll look forward to seeing that. But anyway, it has been crazy. We are like chicken with our heads chopped off. Spring is in the air. We haven't hit any rain and there's so much going on. We've been running around doing, trying to get all this stuff done, get things cleaned up. And right now I'm in the outside kitchen and it's a huge mess. So I have to kind of get it cleaned up so we can transition because I'm gonna do a lot more cooking and preserving out here. And if you're new around here, this is our outside kitchen and we can't cook on our wood burning cook stove in the house in the summertime because it'd be way too hot. So. We use our outside kitchen where we eat and prepare our foods. You guys call me, I am getting ready to prepare some lamb chops. And I make a really good marinade for our lamb chops. I use coconut aminos and I mix that with a whole bunch of spices. And what I do, everyone's like, your spices and seasonings are so good with this. All I did is I throw everything together for some of you guys if you want to try it. I just do garlic powder, I do salt, I do um, oregano and thyme. I mean, rosemary. I put celery seed in it. I put everything under, but the kitchen sink in there, everything. And it turns out really good. I put cumin and paprika. So everything I could think of, I put it in there, mix it with the coconut aminos, and it makes this fantastic marinade. You guys want to see what they look like? So if you guys have been following us along, we had a you and uh, she was three years old and we have Katahdin sheep and Katahdin sheep are known especially for their meat and normally when we have our meat we have a lamb and a lamb is generally under a year old or a year under so this is a sheep and it's three years old anything over a year old is called mutton so we are going to be eating this three-year-old mutton and I'm interested to see how it tastes so I'm gonna be grilling the lamb and make these lamb chops because the lamb tastes amazing on the grill. And if I could give anybody a point about making lamb, because lamb is amazing. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't like lamb. It's probably how you're cooking it. But the number one thing with lamb is you cannot overcook it. So when I'm gonna cook this, these lamb chops, I'm gonna keep them very pink. All right, so there's dinner. So I gotta get going on this here. Remember when we started this video, I went to the store to get those parts because I uh, forgot to take that filter off. See that blue cap right there? So the filter, I think it's still laying on the floor there. There it is. The filter, all the water in there froze up, busted the pipe. And now I just have to make a few little connections and fixes um, to get this going again because we're going to have cold water shower before we have hot water shower. 
<laughs> I'm trying guys. I'm only one guy. All right, so don't forget to get your t-shirts. We're using proceeds from the t-shirts to help a fellow homesteader. The link is down below in the, uh, underneath the video in the comment section. It'll be the very first comment underneath this video. Get your t-shirts. And we're going to send uh, money over to our friend Eric at Life and Farmland, who's having a, a hard time right now. He's having a, some kidney issues, okay? And they didn't ask us to do anything, but we want to pull together uh, that t-shirt money, and we want to send that over to him and his wife and his kid uh, because we love those guys. They're homestead homies from way back. We have a lot of history with those guys. They've been watching our channel, and they're just good people. So get your t-shirt. All right, that's it for us right now. We're going to get out of here. Sun's going down. Come back tomorrow because we're going to put that shower together. And Stacy's going to be working in the garden. And we just have so much going on. So until we see you guys again, have a great day. Stay safe out there. And hug the ones you love. Just after you hug them, make sure you sanitize.